Greetings everyone, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. Busy day here at the channel. Lots of new releases to talk about. I've been listening to a lot of this stuff non-stop for the last few days, trying to get acclimated with all these new albums so I can talk to you a little bit about them. So today, very cool one. Uh, I've given, you know, I, I was actually, been listening to this one probably a little bit more than some of the others and that I've you know done today on the channel but uh, it's actually the last one that I'm recording because I wanted to give it another two spins because it's like it's really really hitting home with me and I'm really liking it a lot but I wanted to make sure I had a really good handle on it now I think I'm ready to talk about it the band and the album is called A to Z out now on Metal Blade Records. You might be asking, but Pete, A to Z, what does that mean? Who's in the band? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. So the A part of it is Ray Alder. Of course, vocalist for Fate's Warning. Pretty, well, I guess now you can say ex-vocalist of Fate's Warning because I'm pretty sure Fate's Warning is kind of done. Uh, also, former vocalist of uh, Redemption, and he's done some other projects and things. That's the A part of it. Now, the 2Z, we'll get to Z in a minute, uh, but before you get to Z, we've got uh, Philip Bino on bass. Okay, he's done lots of things in his career. Very, very great bass player. Uh, on keyboards, Vivian Lalu. On guitars, Jupe Walters, Lion Music Guy. And on drums, here's the Z part of it, Mark Zonder. Alder, Bino, Lalu, Walters, Zonder. All right, so let's take a look at the rest of the CD here. I'm a zebra guy, I love zebras, so that's pretty cool. And let's get this booklet out for you. You got the lyrics and some cool photography. There are the guys in the band. Okay, so you got uh, in the same order that I just, uh, actually, no, not really. Yeah, no, same order. All looking so sophisticated and grown up, everybody, right? Ray still kind of looks the same. Yeah, Philip still looks the same. Jupe's got a little less hair than I remember it. Uh, Mark kind of looks the same these days. And uh, Vivian? Well, most of them kind of look the same. A little bit older. So you might be asking, well, Pete, that sounds like a pretty cool lineup. What's the music like, you might ask? Well, it's pretty damn good. you got to imagine if it's got Ray Alder and Mark Zonder in the band that it's going to sound a little like classic Fate's Warning. And that is kind of, that, that is true. That is true. Although I will say it sounds a little bit more like Fate's Warning circa like uh, you know maybe like the some couple of those 90s albums right where fates were starting to sound a little bit more commercial still retaining their sound but a little bit more commercial it's kind of along those veins very accessible progressive metal all right it's like progressive metal melodic metal this is not uh it's not quite fates warning heaviness and complexity uh, and there's tons of hooks and, you know, really good melodic passages and songs on here. It's just really quality, you know, prog metal, but again, the more accessible kind of prog metal. Uh, like I said, I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even stop uh, with that. You know, I wouldn't say that it, you couldn't even categorize this as just melodic metal. Right, because again, I don't know how progressive some of this is, but there are some really intriguing passages on here. There is some really cool guitar work from uh, Mr. Walters there. Um, the, the the rhythms are made, the drum work and the bass work outstanding. There's plenty of keys. Ray sounds great on here. Ray always sounds good. I mean, it's just without a doubt. And there's some really really good songs that I think you'll want to check out right away. Uh, Trial by Fire is the first song on the album. Amazing. It's so catchy and it's nice and heavy, intricate arrangement, really good. You got the Far Side of the Horizon, also a good song. The Machine Gunner, terrific, pretty heavy. Uh, Rise Again, soaring vocal harmonies, just amazing, amazing song. Uh, Window Panes, Runaway, Runaway, another song, really good chorus, really catchy, very memorable. You got Stranded at the Water's Edge, 
darker, heavier song. I like that a lot. Borrowed Time is another excellent, excellent song. Then you got Sometimes, and then The Silence uh, Broken is the final track, and that's actually a bonus track if you get the uh, the Digipack CD version of this. Uh, it's produced by Mark Zonder, all right, so he produced the album. And, uh, I, man, I can't say anything bad about this. It's really enjoyable. The songs are so memorable. Like I said, it's just heavy enough, but it's it's not your typical... Um, progressive metal album with you know big big huge heavy riffs and lots of soloing and super complex arrangements it's not really that there are moments of that like uh, Jude plays some terrific guitar solos on here he's an amazing he's he's one of those real melodic shredder guys but he's you know obviously a little bit more restrained on here but has plenty of time to show off his skills uh like i said i love the rhythm section you know zonda's drums are so good bino is such a great bass player there's just enough keyboards from lalu it's uh but ray it's it always goes back to ray alder he's so good on this album ray has been like in recent years like anything he works on has just been absolutely stellar here's a guy who his voice, you know, his voice has changed a lot over the years. I, you know, I'm reading that Fate's Warning biography right now, and uh, and while I'm, usually when I read some of these rock bios, I go and re-listen to the catalog as I'm kind of going through the book, and it's amazing, like, how when you listen to Ray Alder on those first couple of Fate's Warning albums when he first joined the band, and you listen to him today, it's like a completely different singer. You know, he was always going for that real high-pitched kind of screamy thing, trying to be the successor to John Arch, and today he's just got this really great, warm... Ray Alder sound that's not that at all doesn't need to be he's just awesome for the way he is and uh, yeah this is a terrific album I really like this a lot I was you know at first I was kind of thinking that it might be a little too kind of melodic and AOR-ish for what I really want to hear you know this group of guys doing but it's got enough of everything that you know all these guys bring to the table and I think it really really works whereas a lot of these kind of project uh, releases in recent years kind of sound just like that this really sounds like a band and the songs are really really catchy and memorable and that's why i like it uh, a great song is a great song so again if you want a couple of standouts to check out from a to z definitely trial by fire uh definitely rise again in the machine gunner uh definitely at the water's edge borrow time easily can recommend those but they're all really good there's not a not a weak song on here you know obviously uh, some rock a little bit more than others but all of them have great catchy melodies which is really important and just expert playing even if it, most of it is for the song okay so uh, a to z self-titled metal blade records check it out if you haven't already and uh, if you do give it a listen or if you just picked it up let us know what you think of it in the comments below. And uh, make sure you uh, hit that like button, right? Before you leave us here today, hit that like button. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell. We also have the links below to our Ko-Fi page and our merch page. And also visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. That's it for new stuff for today. We got coming up in the uh, weeks ahead what do we got this is what we got on tap for the next you know next week the week after the week after that we got uh more progressive metal new band called atomic atomic symphony we've got the brand new toxic right return album from the great 80s thrash metal band we've got uh the brand new king's x i've got new ryo okimoto keyboard player from spock spirit i got new tan the tangent uh new uh david longden okay obviously who uh we lost not long ago, former lead singer of Big Big Train, uh, and I got some other things. So we got a new archival Steve Hillage live, courtesy of Mr. Anthony Farrar. Thank you, my friend. And, uh, you know, more things are coming in as we speak. So, uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Lots happening. Uh, I got a cool new UFO reissue that I'll probably be talking about next week as well. So lots to talk about, lots to listen to, lots to digest, and ultimately... Lots more homework for you guys, right? Ha, that's what it's all about. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Pete Pardo. Have a good one. I hope you enjoyed all these new new releases today. And uh, tune in tomorrow for The Monster's Den. Till then, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.